Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Dynamic Darren. I'm Darren, where I plan on talking about college, fashion, art, maybe engineering, because I'm a mechanical engineering student at Stanford. Um, it's been like nine months since my last video that I posted. That's a long time, but a lot of stuff was happening. Um, but now I'm back with facial hair and my nails are done. Kind of fun, kind of fresh. And so today I'm just gonna be talking really quickly about what I plan on bringing to my college dorm, just some essentials. And so if you're interested, then stay for the video. All right, so I made a quick little list in Excel of what I plan on bringing. I'm gonna put the Excel sheet down below. I think you can do that, I don't know. Um, so you can download it and add it to yourself if you feel like it or if you like just wanna look at it. And I'm just gonna go through that. It's pretty quick. I didn't put anything and everything that I'm gonna bring, but I put some stuff and some little things that I think people aren't gonna think about. I'm also gonna be talking about kind of just my experience at Stanford and like what worked for Stanford. And so it might not be applicable to your dorm, but I feel like in general, it's probably gonna be pretty, it's gonna be pretty applicable. First section, bedding and laundry. I'm gonna bring a comforter, and I noted that I'm gonna bring a full-size comforter. I know for Stanford's beds, they're twin XLs. I think most dorms are twin XL, but like I just like a little bit more bedding, and so having a little bit more of a comforter space isn't gonna be a huge issue. If you want it to fit like exactly on your bed, then get a twin XL, but I recommend getting a full because I just like more bedding. Sheets, twin XL, pillows, pillow casings, mattress pad. You need a mattress pad, like please get a mattress pad. I don't, I don't think my roommate had a mattress pad. I think he just slept on the bed. He's built different, but I really enjoy my mattress pad. And I got a really thin one because they are pretty expensive in my opinion, but the thicker you can get, the better sleep you're probably gonna get. And so I recommend getting a mattress pad to an XL. Throw blankets, just little blankets that you can carry around or you can put on your, on your bed. Laundry basket. So my laundry basket was one that it was sturdy and I carried with two hands. It wasn't like a malleable mesh substance. Some people would prefer different ones. The one that I liked, I preferred just because I liked a sturdy basket that I could carry and I wasn't that far like of a walk anyways. Plus my gym clothes are kind of stinky. And so definitely get one that will mask that smell and not let it seep out into the room. That's kind of a gross thing, but like my clothes stink. And so get a ma get a basket that will mask that smell. Um, fabric softener, stain removers, laundry detergent. The laundry detergent that I got was liquid. I know people use pods and for the most part it was fine, but sometimes the washers like just don't work properly and like they would probably stop mid cycle. And so people with pods, like they would get like crusty detergent stains on their clothes. And so my liquid detergent never did that. And so maybe I recommend getting liquid detergent. I don't know. Dryer sheets. I always get dryer sheets. People, sometimes people don't use dryer sheets, but I always use dryer sheets just to enhance the smell. Clothing hangers, a lint brush. I didn't bring one, but I might bring one this time. Shower towels, as well as beach towels. For shower towels, I had two, and so I would use two for the week, and I would wash them at the end of the week. I don't really think you need more than two to three, because that's kind of, I know people will like use a new towel every day, but that just like, won't really work space-wise in your dorm, you don't have a ton of room. And so I think like two to three towels is okay. Some people had bathrobes, I didn't put that, but like, if you want a bathrobe, bring a bathrobe. Electronics and office supplies. So laptops, tablets, all your chargers, like make sure you have all your chargers. I remember I forgot one of my chargers and it was like not a big deal, but it's just kind of annoying when like you pack everything perfectly and you forget a charger. Like portable speaker. I have an Alexa that I got as a gift that I used in my room, but you can't bring it anywhere. But now I also bought myself a JBL portable speaker. And so if you have a portable speaker, bring one. It's useful if you want to like sit outside a three two prong adapter i think stanford's charging adapter is worth three prong and so i don't know if you really need that don't remember i will check that when i get back on campus headphones sticky notes i use sticky notes all the time actually i would just write little notes on it stick it on my desk that was so loud stick it on my desk and like that was really useful for me so i use sticky notes just as reminders and put them everywhere Scissors, people don't really think about bringing this, but scissors I did use every once in a while. Ruler, I also use every once in a while. I'm a mechanical engineering student, and so you're kind of just doing like drawings and stuff. Um, a stapler, which I used every once in a while also. Tape, I didn't really use that much, but if you, like, I don't know, I just, I prefer to have that stuff if I can, then to just go somewhere and find it. Um, so I had tape. I don't know why I'm digging in my eyeballs. That's sorry, that's like too much. A printer, printer paper. So for at Stanford, at least, we have a printer like in all the dorms, but you have to, you do have to pay like a tiny like cent fee every time you use a printer, which is just kind of annoying. And so if you can afford a printer, I would get one. There's pretty cheap ones. I think mine was like $40. Um, Stanford also does have community centers where you can go for free printing, but sometimes people are just don't want to use that system a lot or they feel like they're abusing it. And so portable charger, 
and an eye clicker that's kind of random um and so you can probably get one for free and also your classes might not even require one my physics class did um so that's why i needed one and i think i'm gonna have classes i'm definitely gonna have classes my junior year where i'm gonna need an eye clicker toiletries body wash shampoo conditioner sick medication so like nyquil cough drops you're probably gonna get a cold um that's just kind of like the dorm life no i did get i get i got a little bit sick and so i had nyquil and cough drops and stuff so if you could bring that definitely bring that like painkillers tylenol and whatnot hair products skincare products makeup products toothbrush toothpaste i recommend bringing more than one toothbrush floss please floss a room scent people know when your room doesn't smell good just saying they're not gonna tell you but they know when your room doesn't smell good sunscreen girl wear your sunscreen also get a mineral sunscreen i say that especially if you're um pock and you have like melanin because i heard that or i've researched and read that chemical sunscreens can lead to hyperpigmentation and so if you're worried about hyperpigmentation get a mineral deodorant bring your cologne perfume mouthwash a shower caddy my shower caddy was not big enough for all my things. So that's just kind of a me issue. I had one shower caddy, razors, shaving cream, tweezers. That's something I didn't bring, but I would use now. So bring tweezers, bring nail clippers. I didn't bring, but I would use now. Hair dryer, Q-tips, um, shower shoes. Girl, if you don't wear shower shoes in the shower, that's so gross and like crusty. Please wear shower shoes. Comb brush, band-aids. Household items. Vacuum, I didn't have one. We had a vacuum, but it's kind of, it was kind of like dusty for some reason. Like it was just kind of broken down and like old. Stamp Ray provides you with a trash cans, like recycling trash, and I think a food waste one. And you have trash bags with those, so you didn't need to bring one, but maybe your dorm might have that if you're not going to Stanford. So maybe trash bags, maybe plates and mugs. I didn't use that because I always ate through the Stanford dining hall. I think most people do. I don't really, I don't know. I don't know anybody who didn't have a meal plan. Uh, a water bottle, I have my hydro that I bring everywhere. They have a lot of hydro refilling places around Stanford. Tupperware, I did have Tupperware and I did use that a couple times. Now for clothing, I didn't put everything because you guys know what you're gonna bring for clothing for the most part, but um, definitely bring house shoes if you can, like stuff you can wear around the dorm, even like slip-ons and whatnot or moccasins, I don't know. Swimsuits, people don't think about bringing swimsuits sometimes, but it's California, you're, at least at Stanford, you're gonna be using swimsuits and fountain hopping, whatnot. So bring swimsuits. Rainwear, business, business casual clothing, you're gonna have fairs, career fairs at your campus and you might wanna have some nice clothes. We had one nice formal dance in the beginning of the year. I feel like there might be would have been more if we didn't get booted off campus before the pandemic. Workout clothing, I go to the gym all the time and stuff. And so bring workout clothing, don't forget your running shoes, all that stuff. Now, I also have miscellaneous items that people sometimes don't think about bringing. Um, that is an umbrella, a bicycle. Everybody bikes at Stanford. Everybody bikes. I know a couple people who don't bike and like they're good with it. And like it sometimes is nice to walk places, but it's also kind of annoying when you have to like leave 10 minutes or 15 minutes earlier than, rest than everybody else because you don't have a bike or you want people to walk with you. A helmet. Helmet you might have to bring. You can get free ones at Stanford at least. Um, in the beginning of the year, they have like bike things that you can go to. Bike light, they will give you a free bike light from what I remember, so don't buy one. But definitely when you go there, use your bike light all the time, don't forget it. Backpacks, obviously. Hobby supplies, so like art. I'm like very artistic, so I brought all my art supplies. I barely used it because I was not good at balancing my time my first year, but bring art supplies. I have a guitar now that I'm practicing, so if you're playing an instrument, maybe bring a guitar or something like that. Full body mirror. Stanford's dorms do not have a full body mirror. Even in the newer dorms, I believe, there's no full body mirror. And so if you're a person who likes to look at your full outfit before you're gonna go out, as do I, um, bring a full body mirror. They do have mirrors um, in the closet and stuff that you can use. Um, you can see like most of yourself, but you just can't see everything. A rug. I didn't have a rug my first year. I would wait to get a rug until you get to campus because you're gonna have a roommate and maybe you guys won't agree on the rug. And so, and it's not essential obviously, but if you can, if you like wanna deck out your room, a rug is a nice thing to, add to your room room decor so any like anything that you want to bring specifically people like love those fake leaves to put in their room maybe i'll get some i don't know um command strips at stanford they were they were like don't use command strips and stuff because it's going to peel the paint off and you're gonna, have, you're gonna have to pay for it but i used command strips and it didn't peel any paint off also when i got in the room there was some paint already chipped like 
quick side note, take pictures of any damage that you see before they try and charge you for it. I don't know. I didn't hear any stories, but I'm just saying like, it's probably better safe than sorry. But yes, I use command strips. That worked out fine for me and like everybody that I know. A fridge, freezer, I didn't use one my freshman year, but some people had them. It kind of might be nice if you have snacks and stuff that you like to keep cold or to freeze. At the end of the year, um, people let go of all of their items that they don't want just because they're done when it's cool, like a lot of the graduate students. And so they'll like give out free fridges and stuff. And so I maybe wait for that to see if you can get a free one. Lighting, so like LED strips or maybe like a starry night light thing might be fun to add to your room. An iron. I iron my clothes like crazy. And sorry about an iron. I like to have nice wrinkle free clothes. Shoe cleaner. I have a lot of shoes, so I use shoe cleaner all the time. Suitcases are like travel luggage. Tripod, um, night lighting. So if you have a little night light thing, that's really useful. My roommate had that because he usually stayed later than I did. And so he always used night light. That worked out very well. And so I would use that if you like are a person who likes to stick in your room and you don't want to go anywhere else to study. Snacks. Maybe a TV is nice to have if you can get one. And so maybe a TV. I don't know. Um, a couch slash beanbag. A couch, that's debatable. Don't get one before you go there. That's something you should just discuss with your roommate. I forgot to mention, but maybe bring a fan. People like to use fans for like surround sound or white noise at night. Um, that depends on your roommate too, but I didn't have a fan, but maybe you want to bring one. We also don't have AC, so that might help. And so that is my list. I hope that was helpful. This is just me talking, I didn't really show anything. Um, I'll probably like give a room tour when I'm back on campus in late August or early September, but that's the video. Also, please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you would like to. Let me know what you want to see. Maybe I'm going to try and do like more fashion stuff, but I don't know. It's just kind of hard, but I'm going to try it because I want to. Okay, bye.